Okay, so I'm just documenting what's going on. Say hi, George, who came out of the pit. <laughs> There's Miss Cat. She's in town. Anyway, so George is going to help me hang up the sign that the Lord told me to get, what, three weeks ago, maybe more. Uh, the sign's ready. I'm showing you all this picture. This is a, a piece of artwork I did on plexiglass with using a grinder, and that's the back of what's supposed to be my head. This is the back of the head. And this comes down to the neck and to the shoulder. And this is down to the neck and to the shoulder. And so this, this is the top of the head. Again, going down to the neck and the shoulder, down the back of the neck to the shoulder. So you're looking at the back of what's supposed to be my head in the Garden of Eden. And I'm looking at a female. This is the top of her head. And she's looking at me. And wrapped around the whole thing is the serpent here's the tail of the serpent and here's the body of the ser the body of the serpent going up there's the body of the serpent there was a hole in the plastic right there i used to make the head of the serpent and so there's the head of the serpent there's the eye right there and so if i just kind of block that up you can see the serpent very easily and so it's the serpent wrapped around me and what was my girlfriend at the time, Eleuthera. And that represents the Garden of Eden. And these represent, these, I did all this with a grinder. And these are, you know, these are plants. And I sprayed spray paint on plexiglass. And then I grinded it in. And so what's really crazy is, this is where the Lord told me it's time to put up the sign I told you to order. And George and I are going to put that up right now. I guess the other part that's really important is there's a picture that was on top of this that um, I guess I'll show you in just a second. I'll, what I'll do is I'll I'll take a clear photo of the picture that I had and it was positioned right here. It's been here for the longest time. It's from my skydiving days. I'm from the skydiving uh, stuff for Vlad Eyewear Vampire Sunglasses. And the thing was, um, I just uh, wrote this thing to the Lord after I got saved, just praising God for saving me. And I put it right on top of that. So, here, so, so here's the point. This is where the Lord wants me to put up the sign he had me make, V for Vengeance. And now, let me show you what the Lord had me discover on the Barack Obama presidential photo. That he was the one in the garden, Elohim. He was that. He was the angel of the bottomless pit. He's Lucifer. He's he's the incarnation of the spirit of Lucifer that was cast down. And so I'm going to show you all that. And I, the Lord just let me draw it all in the other day. And so here it comes. This is just going to blow y'all's mind. Okay, so here's George Cat. <laughs> Georgie. <laughs> you just call it, George, tell everybody you just crawled out of a pit. Just crawled out of a pit, guys. With a guy named? George Cortez, my and nephew. And what's your name? George Cortez. So George Cortez and George Cortez, the, a pit opened up. And tried to eat us alive. So that, yeah. yeah I showed everybody the news clip. So there, people wanted to sit, say, hey, get George to give a testimony. There he is. <laughs> He's giving his testimony. So here's what's up, guys picture right there that was over there on top of the Garden of Eden thing I took it off because we're getting ready to put the sign up that the Lord told me to put up let me show you what this is though real quick that's a picture that was taken during the vampire sunglasses stuff where I was doing the ads for flat eyewear vampire sunglasses and it shows me falling out of the sky upside down that's because I was predestined to have the key of David you know uh, key of knowledge the one that's been hidden by the Pharisees so after I got saved I wrote this note on the uh, I mean I, I wanted to keep one of these images without any of the flat eyewear stuff on it so it's just a big positive but so I wrote this down after I got saved and I was praising God for for letting me find my way out of the darkness and so I just wrote that on a whim and it reads eyes that light a thousand suns a thousand years of darkness lit from the darkness to the light through the night I found my way 
Now colors call my name. There is only you and the rainbow that surrounds you. Jesus is light. Praise God for light in such darkness. Then I wrote a note to my girlfriend at the bottom. May God's light always shine upon you and always light your way to Eleuthera. So that picture right there, I'm going to put right back where it goes on the Garden of Eden. So this represents the fall where we all fell upside down. And it's going to go right back on the Garden of Eden. This is like in a house that has the Lord's name on it. Just think about it. Okay, so I'm going to take this and put it back where it goes. You know, this is the image of me. This is the image of my girlfriend, Eleutheria, Eleuthera. The serpent going around the garden. And this is right here, representing the fall. And now the Lord told me it's time to put up the sign I told you to get made. And so now I put that back where it belongs. And then now George and I are going to put the sign up right there. And then after we get that sign up, I'm going to show you the sign that the Lord told me to make. And then I'm going to show you proof that many videos ago I told you that I was going to show you a sign that the Lord told me to make because time's here. Okay, so there's a sign I was told to get. V for vengeance. And the Bible says, vengeance is mine, saith the Lord, and the time of the Lord's vengeance has come. I mean, I don't know what to say sometimes. It's kind of weird. Cats in there, George is here. But both these people have seen, how much supernatural have you seen, Kat? Oh, my word. Was your husband's eye healed? Yes. George, were you supernaturally healed? Absolutely. Yes, so yeah. you're you're in a you're in a place where it's supernatural. Yeah, all the time. All the time, normal. The and time. right now, this right here, y'all 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 don't know what's coming after this, because I no nah, anyway. So y'all don't know what's coming after this because the Lord just let me catch the serpent from the garden, and this is the Garden of Eden and me falling from the sky from heaven. And it's a representation of what happened to all of us. We all fell. So, V4. I know that's not the way you spell F-O-R. The reason it's F-O-U-R is because the night I got saved, the Lord made certain promises to me that if I was to continue and to carry out this mission, that he would take care of four people for me. I have four kids. Just like Noah. Noah had his deal with the Lord. I have mine. Yeah, so anyway, so I was guaranteed four ride for one the night I got saved. That's That was a guarantee. For what you do for me, I'll get four people to safety for you, and it's going to be rough. <laughs> that's an understatement. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's going to be rough. <laughs> that's an understatement. It's going to be a freaking straight on 15-year ass whooping. Yeah, yeah, it's been rough. V four, and vengeance is upside down. And that's the garden and the Lord just okay so anyway so the time of the Lord's vengeance has come and he just let me catch the serpent in the garden and that's gonna follow up what y'all are seeing right here right after I finish this little segment you're gonna see what you probably won't even believe but <laughs> done all right, there it is. Okay, so that was just me uh, documenting 
what needed to be documented just last week. The sign's up behind me. There it is. Um, I'll pull up those shades later when I get ready with the full disclosure. And I just needed to get this on a reel, so it's on a reel now. Okay, God bless, guys. Uh, and this will be coming at you real, real quick.